Welcome back. Now, summer is here, and if you're planning on hosting a get-together but don't have a ton of cash, uh, don't worry. I recently met up with a designer and event planner who showed me how to next level my next event for a fraction of the cost. Here in California, we get to have a summer pretty much all year round, and that's why we love to have summer parties. But inflation is real, and we want to throw those summer parties on a little bit of a budget, right? And that's why I invited my friend Jeanette here to give us some tips and tricks on how to do that. What's going on, girl? Oh, I'm so happy to be here. And do you know what I love about budgets? A, I'm always on one. B, they can sometimes push your creativity and you come up with even more beautiful parties and styling for your events. And that's exactly what you do because I'm already looking over here. Girl, I see that we've got like a nautical, very cute theme going on. I love this one. It's kind of nautical and preppy and I wasn't expecting this theme until I went to the dollar store and saw that I can do all of this stuff because nautical is very much trending there. Yeah. So there's fun little things you can do. Branded straws, of course, just little scrapbooking stickers and ribbon on things all of a sudden makes it theme appropriate. These little giveaways for the kids, again, easy to do out of felt, lots of fun, and again, on theme. And of course, I know you were eyeing that popcorn. Girl, I've already been eating it. All right, I'm ready for my bikini body. Okay, did you make this popcorn? I feel like I see this in bags, but did you make this yourself? Yes, and it, I actually saw it on TikTok. Mm. So I've seen it in bags, and it's usually around $10. And then I saw it on TikTok. It's just oil in the pot for the popcorn. You add some colored candy, throw the popcorn in, and another huge trend is Lucky Charms inspired marshmallows. I love I mixed you did them that. in for kind of a popcorn trail mix. So cute. And the best part is, of course, if you're making your own stuff, it always is a little more affordable that way. Super affordable. And again, the DIY, one huge trend we're seeing at weddings, everything, all kinds of parties, is the donut stand. And I was mentioning to you, I went to buy some online, and they went from about $35 to $140. That's expensive. No. It's ridiculous. No. So I just found a jewelry stand, which I picked up for under $10, painted it with some acrylic paint, sealed it, and now my donuts have a very stylish display area. So cute. And I love that you painted it, because you're right, you probably wouldn't find the perfect color, so instead you just grab it, paint it, and you're done. Exactly. Painting all things the same color or slapping a bow, it's good to go. Yes. These are all my little tricks to make yes. things look polished. And I see you've slapped on a bow. With, this is so cute, Jeanette. Exactly. And these are kind of fun little giveaways that, or when guests arrive, they can slip into their, again, from the dollar store slippers, but I tried to give them kind of a Kate Spade high-end vibe yes. there with a little ribbon. <laughs> and this is for my tropical theme. So this was a fun, bright colored theme. Kind of anything goes, which is great. And this is a great idea for parents because face painting stays can be a lot of work, mm -hmm. so why not do a tattoo station? I just use clothes pegs to the super affordable sign that I made, and you can just pick your little tattoos, and the kids are good to go. Every parent is thanking you because no one wants the face paint. <laughs> I know. It's so I used to do face painting booths for family members, and I was like, this is so much work. No, too much work. Tattoos are perfect. Um, okay, speaking of work, I know you made these. Did you make them in this cup? Can you do that? These are one of my favorite things to elevate cupcakes and also make it easier for guests and kids to hold and even decorate. These are very affordable. I can think about stores like Home Goods. And when you're making them, you don't need to use the typical cupcake pan. You can just put them in a casserole pan, pour your batter in, and they're good to go and decorate. Quick and easy. And it is, yeah, it's a lot cleaner, which I like. And then, girl, of course, we got our drinks. All the parents are like, whoop, perking up. Yes, yes, yes. We've got drinks over here. Candy drinks, alcoholic candy cocktails, and of course, like juice based one for the kids are huge. These are all the rage. Again, on social media, you're seeing them everywhere. I got really inspired over on Pinterest for mine. And you just skewer the gummies here, which is a lot of fun. Pop some cotton candy on. I did a pop rock rim here, which Ooh, is extra exciting. Yeah. And then to let people know whose glasses they are, again, you can just bust out those scrapbooking Quick stickers. And easy. Pick one that looks like them, yeah. and you're good to go. And then, of course, we can't forget the sushi, which, by the way, at first I thought it was actually sushi, but it's not. It's really cute candy that you've put together. Again, assemblage is so much less work. So again, using gummies or licorice. This is just marshmallow wrapped in a little licorice sour wrap there. And that is some of our sushi right there. So easy. The kids can even assemble it. You could have a little assembly thing for them. And they can take it home with them, which is a lot of fun. Amazing. And last but not least, for all of you campers out there who may not be able to camp this summer, don't worry. You can have a camping party. <laughs> exactly. How about Probably a lot less, uh, you know, less buggy and easier. Yes. <laughs> so this is my welcome to the campfire. This is a great theme if you're doing a bridal shower or something, which is cute. Signage always makes things look really elevated. So to polish games, I'll have a little DIY on that one on my Instagram. Again, these cute containers, super affordable. Games, keep it easy. Just little 
As long as the glasses match, it looks great. And last but not least, I know this is kind of a gift you can give someone as a thank you for having them over. Yeah. Exactly. Say you're having a girl's day and you have a few friends over. I love this. You just open it up. It fits the theme. Again, the bow is on it. Little, these gift cards were a dollar, the stamps were a dollar, the ink pads were a dollar, so this whole box is under five dollars per Jeanette, guest. we like it. Summer parties on a budget, we're all enjoying it, and I'm a little thirsty, so shall we say cheers? Cheers! Thank you for the great ideas. All right, happy summer, everyone.